About $1.1 billion is at stake for public schools across Arizona. The aggregate expenditure cap that fluctuates depending on enrollment and inflation, a cap that can't be exceeded unless approved by two-thirds of the legislature. Cronkite News reporter Faith Abercrombie says that after weeks of uncertainty, there may be some movement at the Capitol to lift the spending cap for schools. We cannot sit by and let this happen. Arizona parents gathered on the Capitol lawn to send a message to legislators voting on the override of the education spending cap. Lisa Hoberg wants legislators to make it simple. These are big dollars that our schools really need and they, they absolutely need to just be allowed to spend them because they're budgeted, they've already been paid for by taxpayers and we need a simple yes vote to, to allow us to finish the school year out. The legislation was introduced by Speaker of the House Rusty Bowers this week. It passed the House Tuesday with bipartisan support. I'm grateful that we could be here to make it official and uh, let this money go so that they can enjoy it and put it to good use. This small victory comes after weeks of uncertainty as Republicans waited to lift the cap, even though in the past it was a routine matter. Superintendent of Public Instruction Kathy Hoffman says the cap needs to be repealed permanently. To me, the cap is very outdated and should not be holding back the students of today. Parents like Claudia Armadera say they still fear cuts that could impact teachers, extracurriculars, and transportation. You're just running around thinking, where, what am I going to do next? Am I going to focus on transportation? Am I going to focus on my job so I can, you know, switch my job hours so I can pick up my daughter in time? The bill needs to be approved by the Senate before moving to the governor's desk. And Lisa Hoberg says it's time for the lawmakers to be an example to the kids. They have the opportunity to show our students that they can work together and, and vote on things that are important for the future of our students. In Phoenix, Faith Abercrombie, Cronkite News. Senate President Karen Fan says passage through the Senate is more difficult because one lawmaker is out on family leave. Five Republicans will need to join with Democrats for the bill to pass the state Senate. 